swimming pools. Which of the following listed conduits does the NEC permit to enclose conductors supplying wet niche underwater swimming pool luminaires? Let's jump into the index. Uh, S is going to be way in the back. And we got swimming pools. Now what we're looking for specifically is wet niche underwater luminaires. So as we look through swimming pools, we will find luminaires. But if you look over here, more um, specific is underwater luminaires. 680.23, although luminaires is just 680.22, so they're roughly in the same area. But we'll go with 23, 680.23. Um, and that should find us our answer. So 680.23 is underwater luminaires. And again, we're looking specifically for the wet niche underwater luminaires. Uh, talks about GFCI protection, wet niche luminaires, and then uh, forming shell and wiring extending directly to the forming shell. So conduit shall be installed from the forming shell to a junction box or other enclosure conforming to the requirements of um, N680.24. Conduits shall be rigid metal, intermediate metal, liquid tight, flexible, non-metallic, and rigid poly polyvinyl chloride. We don't have uh, rigid, we don't have intermediate, and we don't have liquid tight, uh, liquid tight, flexible, non-metallic uh, as the answer choice. But we do have rigid polyvinyl chloride, and it doesn't specify schedule 40 or schedule 80. So the most correct answer we have here is D. Hope you find this information helpful. Again, if you like this sort of content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, you need to go check out the rest of the series uh, on my channel. If you go to playlists, look for Think Like a Master Electrician, and you'll find other questions and answers just like this.